Hello friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Saber and this is Games I Played. This series revolves around games which I played in the past and thoroughly enjoyed. Today we showcase Hotline Miami. Hotline Miami is a 2D action game by Denaton Games and was published by Devolver Digital. It was released on October 2012. It is a brawler or shooter from a top-down perspective with stealth-like elements. The game features extreme violence and surreal storytelling. The soundtrack and visuals are influenced by 80s culture. The game is divided into several chapters, which is further broken down into several stages. At the start of most chapters, the player wakes up in his apartment and listens to a cryptic message on his answering machine. These messages tell him to perform certain tasks at a certain location, which in each case is inferred as a metaphor for killing a person at that location. Prior to commencing a mission, the player is asked to select an animal mask to wear, which will provide him unique advantages or handicaps. In each stage, the player navigates a building from a top-down perspective, and the goal is to kill every opponent therein. Occasionally, the player must also defeat a boss at the end of the chapter or find a key item as they explore, but most levels are very straightforward. Some levels will also include hidden masks for the player to find along the way. The player has access to a variety of melee, thrown and ranged weapons. To progress through levels, the player has to decide either they will be using stealthy tactics or just force through the level. The player is no more resilient than the enemy, so any hit you take will prove fatal. The enemy AI varies slightly, causing them to occasionally move unpredictably, making it difficult to plan a perfect approach. To make up for this, the game allows the player to restart each stage at the moment they die, allowing them to quickly fine-tune their approach over several attempts. The game grades the player performance at the end of each chapter based on number of factors, also granting them points that unlock more weapons and may also unlock additional masks depending on the score. In the end, I would say that this is a great game, which required Twitch reaction and learning the pattern of different stages to surpass the levels. It can get frustrating sometimes, but it still keeps me captivated in thinking that I can beat it next time and progress through the story. If you like the style of this game and want to check it out for yourself, see the description down below. And here is some more gameplay footage for you to enjoy. Cheers!
That's all for now folks. Thanks for watching and if you like this video please like, share and subscribe and don't forget to have fun.